To say that the past 11 months have been a roller coaster ride for Jessica Hardy would be a great understatement. On July 1st, she won the 100 breast at the U.S. Olympic Trials, putting herself on her first Olympic team. She also made the team in the 50 free and as part of the 400 free relay. But before the team left for the U.S. for Asia, Hardy was removed from the team after one of her drug tests came up positive for clenbuterol, a banned substance. Since then, Hardy's been fighting to prove her innocence, claiming the supplements she'd been taking were tainted in the production process. And just a few days ago, the American Arbitration Association ruled that the supplements were indeed tainted, and they reduced Hardy's suspension to just one year. Hardy's still fighting to get that sentence reduced even more so she can compete in the 2012 Olympic Games. And joining us right now on Skype from Los Angeles is Jessica Hardy. Jessica, welcome to the Morning Swim Show. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Well, thank you for coming on. Uh, let's go back a little bit before we talk about the present and the future. Uh, you were a big time high school swimmer, named Swimming World's uh, High School Swimmer of the Year. Um, you know, tell us what it was like swimming for you in those days. And did you know that uh, someone just broke your 100 breast high school record? Yeah, I actually sent her a message on Facebook, and it was it was cool to see. Um, to, to see her, you know, excited about it and all that. But yeah, swimming in high school was really fun. I, um, I don't think I ever tapered for a CIF. So, just swimming. I mean, swimming for me at that time was just for fun and and for uh, for games. And it was just just about enjoying the sport, not necessarily about having a stressful, you know, meet to to worry about. But it was a good experience. How competitive uh, were you though at the time? Did you? Did you do things like, mm -hmm. like take supplements to, to try and increase, you know, your ability to swim fast? Hello? Hello? Can you hear Hello. me? Hello. Yes. Okay, sorry about that. We are on Skype, so there will be uh, connection sorry. issues from time to time, but let's continue on. Did you, did you take uh, supplements all the way back in high school? No, I did not. Okay. Um, all right, let's fast forward to the Olympic trials. On July 1st, you win the 100 breaststroke, you got to be feeling on top of the world, you're going to your first Olympics, and, uh, and the test later came back that you, te you were clean after that 100 breaststroke. So uh, what's going through your mind at that point? Um, you mean when I found out I tested positive? Well, first, or... you know, first when you make the team, we only later found out that uh, your sample was clean after that. Uh, but you know, take us through what it was like making the Olympics at first. Um, I think it was at the time it was just a huge relief um, because I kind of had put a lot of pressure on myself, you know, to to make it, and I was nervous as as you can imagine, and and um, to make it in the hundred breast initially, I was just just really relieved and um, and beyond excited. Like there really aren't even emotions that I words that I could I use to describe my emotions because because it's you just kind of lose feeling. It's just like you're just really happy. And then um, and then I just felt more confident going into my next races because I had already made the team. So it was, if I screwed up, it was okay with, you know, I'd be okay with it. And um, after that, I would just have fun the rest of the week. And I just, and that's when I swim my best is when I'm having fun. So it was good. Well, three days after that, you made the team in the 400 freestyle relay. Again, yeah. we later found out that you're, urine test was was clean after that were you taking supplements that in that entire week um yeah i was okay so it wasn't until a couple days later after the 50 free when one of the samples uh tested positive for clenbuterol so you were taking supplements the entire week so was it um i mean do you feel like it was the the specific uh, supplement you took before that race that was tainted um i mean i don't I was taking the same um, supplement for over a year, um, or, or right around a year, and I guess just that one supplement, sorry my dogs are barking, um, just that one supplement happened to be contaminated that one day. Um, I, don't, I mean, I don't understand necessarily why. I didn't do anything differently, um, but, but that's what happened. Okay, so then... Um... It must have been devastating for you when you were with the team at training camp, and um, tell me about when the news was broken to you that one of your uh, sub, one of your samples tested positive. Um, I was actually asleep in in between practices on I think like a Monday. On a Monday, I was taking a nap, and um, um, my roommate 
my I was rooming with Rebecca Sony and she got she answered the, the phone to the room and 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 was told that they needed to wake me up. She needed to wake me up and I needed to go talk to um, call someone from USADA that it, something was serious and 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 I was asleep so I, I hopped straight up out of bed and and went to the team manager's room and started making phone calls um, to USADA and and that's how I found out um, it was it was intense. <laughs> Do you think do you think the clenbuterol helped your performance even if you did take it inadvertently? Um, if it did, it didn't do a very good job. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I didn't swim any faster than I had been swimming all year, and I'd been drug tested many, many, many times. Um, and and I they were all negative. And and if I mean, I I personally don't think it did because I was swimming faster times in practice. I was swimming faster in meets before that, and and I think that I don't think it. I mean, I don't know the scientific you know meaning behind it or if it really did affect me, but I didn't feel that different at trials. What um, you know. One of the important things now is trying to figure out what to, do, how long you're going to be suspended for. Uh, we'll get into this um, as well after a quick break, but I, I do want to ask before we go to the break. You know, now that you've got this down to a year, do you feel, do you feel vindicated? Do you, do you feel like, uh, you know, like everybody had uh, had written you off, but uh, but now you're back? Um, if I mean, I do feel vindicated, but I I feel like. Nothing has been shown that I didn't know from the beginning. I I knew that I knew that I didn't intentionally take anything, and there had to be a reason behind the positive test. If the test was valid, first of all, was my first question, and then if if it had come from sabotage or from you know tainted meat or something, we looked at all of the options, and and ultimately when we found that some some of my supplements were contaminated, it it was more of a relief for me personally because I just was so confused by the whole thing. And, and to be able to show, share that with the public is really nice now because I feel like I've been kind of like in hiding for a year and, and to be able to, to just share that with everyone else is, it's just more of a, a relief more. I don't, I'm not looking at it as I'm vindicated because I mean, I'm not, I'm just not looking at it that way. It's just, it's just, I'm relieved now. Will you ever take a supplement again while you're a pro athlete? Never. Never even beyond that. Do you feel like um, Do you feel like you were guilty until proven innocent, so to speak, instead yeah. of the other way around? That kind of is how a, my person in my situation is treated because um, there was something in my body that showed up in a positive test, which is enough for them to merit um, me as as a, a doper, quote unquote. And and I knew that I had never intentionally done this, but it was it was kind of just left in my hands to prove to them um, how it had happened and and it was it was a really rough road really really rough road but um, ultimately I guess justice did prevail so it's nice well, well let's uh, let's take a quick break when we come back we'll talk more about where you go from here and we also have some viewer questions for you so we'll be right back with Jessica Hardy thanks 